Hi, welcome again. Uh, I'll be talking about the single gutter EOT crane parts in this particular video. Uh, listen to it very carefully again um, since you have been introduced to Reva family. Uh, it is important for you to understand the various parts, the various terminology which we use to discuss about anything. So in this particular case uh, EOT crane, single gutter EOT crane as the name suggests the single gutter EOT crane is uh, basically a single gutter and uh, uh, single gutter and a hoist is uh, uh, mounted below the gutter. So this is the single gutter and a hoist is mounted below the gutter as told to you by me in the earlier videos. So a difference between single gutter crane and a double gutter crane again is that in a single gutter crane as the name suggests it is a single gutter and in a double gutter crane there would be two gutters and the trolley will be mounted above these two gutters to move in the cross travel direction. In this particular case the hoist is mounted below the gutter uh, and it moves below the gutter. Right? So uh, let's go to the parts. So, in a single gutter crane, a hoist is mounted below the gutter. A hoist, I have explained you earlier also, it has main hoist motor. This is the motor. This is the brake assembly, uh, which is mounted on the back uh, rear uh, shield, motor uh, shield. And it basically locks the motor shaft. It doesn't allow it to move. Uh, then this is the MH gearbox assembly. Uh, the motor moves, it moves the gearbox assembly, the gearbox provides the necessary torques, it moves the drum. The drum on the drum, uh, the wire rope is wound, uh, it is wound, it is wound something like this, that on the uh, wire rope is wound on the drum, and then it goes to the bottom block assembly, then it goes to the equalizing, this is the equalizing assembly, pulley assembly, it goes inside this pulley assembly, it goes back, and then it is mounted with a free end clamp over here, somewhere behind this motor. So it is mounted with a free end clamp. So uh, typically, again, motor, gearbox, drum, wire rope is wound through equalizing and bottom block assembly, which causes the, uh, the hook to move up and down once the motor moves uh, in either direction. Then is the cross travel motion, the cross travel gearbox is there, cross travel motor is there, uh, brake assembly is there and once the power is provided to the cross travel motor uh, the gearbox internal moves provide necessary torque and the wheels attached to the gearbox the wheels you are not able to see it very clearly but these are the CT wheels it moves along this gutter uh, again the difference between a hoist and a crane is that hoist can do up and down and cross travel motion only once it is attached to a gutter like this or a double gutter with LT end carriages, it becomes a complete crane. So uh, these are the LT end carriages. LT end carriages are, uh, are having the LT wheel assembly, the long travel wheel assembly. Uh, since this is uh, the power wheel, the gearbox and motor is attached to it. So this is known as the runner wheel and this is known as the idle wheel uh, this is the LT end carriage this is the crane gutter again on the other side this is the LT gearbox uh, the LT motor with brake assembly and uh, these are small things like LT buffer which uh, once the crane goes to the end it uh, when it strikes so it doesn't provide a major impact to the crane so these are some either spring operated or rubber operated buffers attached to it. <coughs> what else? Uh, then there, there is a control panel over here. Uh, LTDSL system and runway beam. Yeah, runway beam is this span of the crane as I told you in the other video. It is the center of the LT rail from this end to this end. This is the span of the crane and uh, uh, 
this is the LTDSL which is basically providing the power to the crane so we'll be having a ISO disk switch at the floor level uh, the main uh, three phase power supply will be provided to the isolating switch by the customer from here a wire will be going to the LTDSL uh, three phase wire um, four core and uh, the, this four bar conductor is there this is known as the shrouded bus bar LTDSL type conductor which provides power to the crane and from here the current collectors are there and uh, it gives power to the control panel and from the control uh, one control panel the power to the uh, long travel motions etc are provided uh, pendant is not shown in this particular uh, picture but normally a pendant would be here uh, or either hanging it from from this control panel where an mh up mh down uh, ct left right lt uh, forward reverse would be there right thank you this is a typical single gutter crane if you have any questions please do write to me on rohit at revacranes.com thank you